Hello once again, welcome to another video of some vintage uh, audio equipment in this case. Today I've got an item that I bought in Milwaukee a few years back and I'll explain where I got it and how I got it a little bit later but right now I'm going to show you this cover. If I can get it close enough here, there you go. It is not from the Wisconsin Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation by the way. It is a tape recorder, reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder in a briefcase. This is the Iowa model TP719S, made back in the 60s. Case comes out like this, lifts up, and comes right off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit about the tape recorders, show you some of the features, and then we're going to see if we can play back and record on this vintage unit. With the back, this has room for batteries and power supplies, the DC and AC power supply, and a storage compartment. Here's the battery compartment. I'm just going to take it out here. And as you can see, there's a, a little connector right here that you would plug in once you put all your batteries in there. This compartment has room for eight, eight D-cell batteries. So you put your batteries in there and put this lid back on and slide it back in. In the middle you have your DC and AC plugs. And then off to the far other side, the far uh, right side from the back, there's room for storage. I'll just take this lid off. Inside there, there's a, uh, a bag that contains the microphone, microphone cord, any other accessories you might have. Here on the left side of the tape recorder are some inputs for various things. You have your external speaker, an aux in, plug, and then the microphone and remote plug. And I'll uh, plug the mic in a little bit later and see if it works as far as the remote start and stop is concerned, but that was a nice little feature you could uh, start and stop the tape recording with the mic. Also there was an automatic volume control which was quite nice to have. The counter reset and then the tape speed for the tape recording seven and a half, three and three quarters, and one and seven eighths. And it also featured a view meter and battery level meter, uh, an on light, and then uh, also a place to thread the tape for the one and seven eighths speed. All right, let's let's find out how this thing plays back and how it records, if it records. Uh, I have a tape here that I know that has some audio on it, so I'm going to hit forward and see what we have. This recording is an interview with Mr. Pat Mannion from the Bureau of Commercial Fisheries at Marquette, Michigan. The topic is lamprey control in Lake Superior. That. Uh, audio you just heard was from a tape that I got at an estate sale. And if you want to look at the uh, tape recorder that I also got from that same sale, you can check the video out that I put out a few weeks ago. Uh, so we know this plays tapes. I mean, we know it plays back tapes. But was it playing it back at seven and a half inches? Let's find out. I'm going to rewind this. And then I'm going to put a tape on here that I know is was recorded at... Uh, seven and a half inches. This is a... <laughs> well, as you can tell, it's not... It certainly isn't playing at the proper speed. Even though the setting is set for seven and a half inches per second, it certainly isn't playing back. So I'm not sure if something is not working internally in here, something slipped, or maybe uh, something isn't running quite right. It's seized up. I don't know. I'm not a repair person, so unfortunately. Yeah, that sounds kind of spooky, doesn't it? Yeah, we're just going to stop that. Okay, so we know this is not playing at seven and a half inches per second, unfortunately. It does rewind, though, slowly. Let's find out if this records something, though. I'm going to set uh, a tape up and see if I can record using the uh, Iowa TP-719S. 
Here's a shot of the microphone for the unit. It does have an on and an off switch. And it's nice because you can have the microphone over here in one part of the room and have your tape recorder somewhere else. And when you want to record, you hit the on button. And when you want to stop the recording, you hit the off button. So let's just set this up and see how it works. All right, I have my microphone here. I'm going to hit record and forward. The microphone button is on off. Flip to on and away we go. I'm going to hit my counter button to zero. I will now speak into the microphone from a good six, seven inches away. And I can see over here on the VU meter that I am indeed working out pretty good as far as the volume is concerned. I'm not peaking. I can maybe talk a little bit closer to the microphone. I will now stop the tape and rewind it. Okay, hit play. Good six, seven inches away. Pretty good. Volume knob is a little scratchy, obviously. No. Let's try that again here. This time I'm going to talk a little bit closer to the microphone. It seemed like I was pretty quiet there. This is test number two. Test number two. Well, it's, I was pretty quiet there. This is test number two. Test number two. Okay, well it records. Not very well, but it records. Uh, let's also check the on off switch again one more time. I have it off. Now it's recording. If I want to stop, I hit the off button. And it stops. How convenient. So this is the Iowa TP719S. Portable tape recorder, runs on batteries, runs on AC and DC power, has a cool little microphone with a remote start and stop. Three speeds, only two work on this machine. The three and three quarter and one and seven eighths, although I haven't checked the one and seven eighths though. And uh, getting back to the cover from before, I was talking about this originally. This was found in Milwaukee during a rummage sale of the Milwaukee Repertory Theater. The Milwaukee Rep had a sale on the props and scenery. And this apparently was used in some play of theirs. I saw it and I bought it for like maybe 15, 20 bucks, something like that. So pretty good deal. But uh, I'd have no idea what play it was used in, but uh, that is the uh, story behind my purchase of this. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you liked it, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure and subscribe if you like. We'll have more videos down the road. Thank you.